Talkeetna has a lot of sweet offerings, but none as sweet as the unique flavors of birch syrup. Our Dave Allgood went to Alaska Wild Harvest and got a behind the scenes look at how birch syrup is made. We're road tripping to Cahilta Birch Works. The road to anywhere in Alaska can be long and make you feel a bit small, but at the edge of Talkeetness, it's the home of Cowhitna Birch Works, Alaska Wild Harvest, home to the uniquely Alaskan birch syrup. We caught up with owners Mike and Dulce East at the height of their sap collecting and syrup making. Mike was busy in the back, and Dulce was getting the big boiler ready to do its work. Yeah, I can do it. Whoa. So we decided to go out first to see the tap birch trees, the new and old ways they collect the sap, a spectacular day, the sun cascading through the forest. The trek was a little dicey, but the sap vibe, well, it was well worth it. So it's really kind of nice out here on a little self-guided tour before all the action hits, because all you can hear out here is me and my cameraman Mike breathing a little bit and the drip, drip, drip of the sap hitting the bottom of the buckets. It's like a quiet, percussive heartbeat of birch trees. Tastes like chicken. I was just kidding. Actually, it tastes like water. As calm as it was out here, they told us to look for this guy, Coop, and he'd have the scoop on all this sap collecting. We found him, and he was worth the wait. I'm a sap sucker here at Cahilton Birchworks. So today we're, I'm driving around on a snow machine, and I got a sled back there with an elect, uh, you know, motor pump, and I'm walking tree to tree with an 80-foot hose and sucking sap out of buckets. And they bring, I bring that back to the syrup shack, and they cook it down and make it into birch syrup, and it's delicious. Got a pretty good tree right here. Got about two gallons of sap in here. Almost too much of a good thing. His tank was full. Yeah, my pleasure, guys. Yeah. All right, here we go. And we needed to catch up with Dulcie so she could show us the next step of the birch syrup process. So we're just boiling, we're not adding anything. We're oh, boiling wow. off. So this is pure birch. Pure birch syrup, pure yes. Birch. And it's, um, it's not easy to make. So Ellen, just yell if you need me, okay? Dulcy is pure energy dynamo and hard to keep up with. What made you want to do this? the first place. I don't have any idea. No. <laughs> and so we started doing it in 1990. We tapped, oh, I don't know, 25 trees. So this hot brown liquid, it's Alaska birch gold. It's delicious. It's rare. It's, um, people love it. So after doing this for more than three decades, you can imagine Dulce and Mike have global customers who clamor to gobble up a new season of birch syrup. Mexico from, um, Italy, from Asia, all parts of Asia. So we headed to the shop to wait while Dulcie and Sue Ellen wrapped up the cooking. The only sign outside that magic was happening inside is the steaming and streaming from the top of the shop, the hot mist kissing the sun with the aroma of birch. Inside, it was time to taste. Hi. Nice to meet you. I yeah. did. Feel really like nice I, to I meet feel you. like we've met. Yeah. We've met, we met before, <laughs> yes. I give you a spoon so you okay. can try. Uh, this year's early run, so we got a lot of nice, sweet uh, early run. It, it's, it's such a unique taste. It's not maple at all. Mm -hmm. It's, mm -hmm. uh, like I said, it's, it's butterscotch, a little hint of chocolate. And they have lots of flavors to choose from. Come see for yourself. But for us, it was time to go. Take, uh, take some gold nuggets for you. I will. You. Thank you. I will put these in gold my pocket. Gold nuggets for you. Oh. Wait, here, look, we got gold nuggets. Oh. There's gold in them there, birch trees. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, Give me a hug here. So I'm one of those sweethearts. Yeah. But... As we got back on the road, it was reflecting on the day from sap to syrup to Alaskan sweet satisfaction birch syrup. Smoke from a distant fire. Mm. Good. <laughs> With photojournalist Mike Niederbrock, I'm Dave Allgood, and this is Road Trippin'. And Dulce and Michael have been producing and educating people about uh, birch tree tapping and syrup making for more than three decades. And they tell us that they tap more than 11,000 trees a season in order to produce all of their popular syrups, candies, and jams.